Dark Angel Movie Review Dark Angel is an American science fiction film directed by Craig R. Baxley. It stars Dolph Lundgren, Brian Benben, Betsy Brantley, and Matthias Hughes. The film was released in 1990. A film about an outlaw deputy who investigates mysterious drug-related murders on the streets of Houston, Texas. The original title was Dark Angel, but the name I Come to Peace was changed after two films, The Dark Angel, released in 1925 and 1935. Houston police officer Jack Kane won't let police procedurals stop him from continuing his mission to take down the White Boys, a gang of white-collar drug dealers who killed his partner during a robbery at a convenience store. White Boys hide drug dealing behind expensive luxury sports cars, executive-level jobs, and flashy designer suits. Led by the evil but civilized Victor Manning, the white boys operate above reproach, but not suspicion. When white boys steal heroin from a federal evidence warehouse, they destroy the facility and hide evidence of their involvement by killing or injuring several people. This brings in the FBI, and Kane is partnered with Arwood Larry Smith, a by-the-book agent. They investigate drug busts and the murder of several key white boy soldiers with a spinning disc. At the same time, Kane learned of a series of drug-related deaths through his girlfriend, Coroner Diane Pallone. The bodies were filled with heroin, but the cause of death was a hole in the forehead. Unknown to Kane and the police, the deaths are caused by an alien Talek who extracts something from the victims. Azek, an alien like himself, follows him. Azek soon finds Talek in a supermarket, where a battle ensues. After being seriously injured in the fight, Azek manages to get into Kane's car while he and Smith investigate a bloody scene left behind at the supermarket. After Kane and Smith are ordered by their superiors to investigate, they find Azek in the back seat, badly injured. Azek explains that he is a police officer from another planet and Talek shoots his victim's hide with synthetic heroin, uses alien technology to extract endorphins from their brains and synthesizes them into a drug called Parsi to be used by addicts on his home planet. He warns Kane and Smith that if the Talek doesn't stop, thousands of intergalactic drug dealers will come to Earth, seeing Earth as a cheap source of Barsi, which is so rare in the rest of the galaxy. Azek dies and his body sets itself on fire, but Smith gets hold of Azek's powerful pistol and intends to send it to his FBI superior to prove the existence of aliens. Kane warns Switzer not to trust him and wants to give the gun to his supervisor, Chief Malone. There is a difference of opinion and separation between the two. Smith gives Inspector Switzer the weapon, revealing that the FBI already knows about the aliens, and they want to start a conversation with the Talek to gain a technological and weapons advantage. He then tries to shoot Smith, but Kane saves him at the last moment. Thanks to Azek's information, they track the Talek to an industrial complex, but are led by white men who believe Kane is behind the deaths of their soldiers. The Talek gets in the middle of the conflict and kills the remaining white boys before Smith is forced to retreat after Azek's weapon is used against him. At the complex, Azek's weapon runs out of charge and the Talek uses his drug harpoon to kill Kane. Kane grabs a vial of a synthesized Barsi drug while blocking the harpoon, and the two fight hand-to-hand -hand with the vial, 
resulting in the talic being impaled on a steel spike. Kane retrieves the talic's gun, the same weapon as Azek, and refuels a nearby drum, killing the talic in the resulting explosion. With Talek dead, Kane and Smith feel that Azek's mission is over. Talek will never return to his homeworld, and since none of the other drug dealers from his homeworld know about Earth, there will be no attack. <laughs>